Hey, what's up everybody? Terry White here. And I wanted to continue on a video I did last week. Last week, I showed people how to move their Lightroom Classic catalog to an external, potentially faster drive than maybe their older internal drive or the drive that it's on. Basically, just how to move your catalog to a different drive, whether it's internal or external. Um, then the question came up, well, what if I want to move my catalog to a new computer? Or what if I want to use my catalog, more importantly, cross-platform? Maybe I want to use my, I'm on a Mac at, at home and I'm on a Windows machine at work or vice versa. And I want to ba basically use that catalog on two different platforms or OSs. Is that possible? So the correct answer is yes, it's been possible since pretty much day one with Lightroom Classic because your catalog file can be opened by either um, OS. So you don't have to change anything with your catalog. What has recently changed though, to my pleasant surprise, is that it just got a lot easier with Windows 11. And let me just basically show you what I'm talking about. So I've got uh, my external drive here. Uh, this is one a new one I just bought. It's a Samsung, uh, here it is right here. It's a Samsung T9. A uh, little miniature SSD drive, and supposedly this is one of the fastest ones you can get in this form factor. All right, uh, when I open up this drive, what I have done is I have created a catalog called TWP Cross Platform. So if we open up that folder, there's the catalog file and all of its previews and supporting files. So um, there's when I talk about that the fact that your um, smart previews stay with the catalog and your preview files stay with the catalog, this is what I mean, is that wherever the catalog folder goes, all your previews and edits and everything else go with it. All right, but what I've also done that I didn't do in the last video is I also moved the photos and videos to the external as well. So I did that process in Lightroom Classic where I just basically move the folder to the other drive and it copied it over. Or if you did it manually, you copied your, all your photos over and you reconnected them to the catalog. Either way, as long as this catalog here knows that these are the photos that are associated with it, you're good to go. So they're both on the external drive is what I'm trying to say. Now that I got them both on the external drive, what I wanna do now is pop this or eject this drive. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll eject it. So it removes it safely. And once it ejects it, I wanna go ahead and plug it into my Windows computer, which is right here. This is my uh, Samsung Windows laptop. So this is a Windows 11 computer. And this is the one I used uh, for the next part of this that you're gonna see. So uh, basically all I did was I ejected the drive, unplugged it, booted up the Windows machine, plugged in the uh, hard drive, and let's go from there. Okay, so here is my Windows 11 computer, and I'm gonna go to the File Explorer, Windows on Explorer, and there is my T9 drive. So here's the pleasant surprise, is that even though it made it the D drive, it still kept it, the name, the uh, Mac name, which is T9. And uh, there's my catalog, I'm just gonna double click on it, from the external drive and it will launch Lightroom Classic in Windows. So this is pretty much the same thing I told you to do when you move it to an external drive on the Mac, you double click the catalog or drag the catalog onto Lightroom Classic and there it is. So to my pleasant surprise, there's the T9 drive. Even though it's the D drive, I don't have to reconnect anything like I used to back in the day. So it still sees my originals, it sees my smart previews that, that I made from the originals and the photos are here. As a matter of fact, we can uh, even take this photo that um, I shot at um, at Horseshoe Bend and we can um, page through them in full screen. Here they are. And what I would love to do is just show that we can also do an edit. So let's do an edit on this photo just so we can basically see a drastic difference. I'll make it black and white. I'll move a few sliders like uh, contrast and uh, maybe the uh, whites and blacks of the, of the slider as well. Just so again, we can see a visual difference um, of how this photo is being edited. Now, again, keep in mind that the edits are stored in the catalog. So as long as I'm doing this in Lightroom Classic, all the edits that I'm doing are non-destructive, no matter what platform I do them on, and they are in the catalog and there's the edited photo. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of Lightroom Classic um, yep, I really want to exit out. 
I love that safety thing there because it used to quit just because you might accidentally hit quit. And the catalog's been updated. And now what I want to do is uh, we'll eject the drive. And then what I want to do is plug it back into the Mac so that we can uh, open up that catalog one more time and see what the edits look like. So in Windows, I'll go safely remove the drive here. We'll just, yep, eject the uh, T9. It's been ejected, and now we're ready to go back to the Mac. All right, so now I'm back to my other location where I've got my Mac. I plugged in my T9 external Samsung drive. Uh, let's go to the catalog once again. There's the catalog, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop it on top of Lightroom Classic, that the version that I wanted to open. You could just double click on it if you only have one version installed, but sometimes I, I have betas installed as an employee. So uh, we'll just go ahead and let it launch Lightroom Classic with that catalog that has now been moved onto the external, opened in Windows, uh, edited a photo in it, and now uh, quit out of Windows and back to the Mac, and there's my edited photo. So again, I can go in now, I can go back to the develop module, I can uh, see the changes that were made. If I go to the basic panel here, and I can see those put in black and white, I can see the exact slider positions, I can make more changes to it on either platform, and that is how you can work back and forth not only between two different computers, but two OSs. And uh, if you were moving this to a new computer, the only difference that would be you would have one additional step. Let me quit out of it one more time here. And the only additional step would be if you wanted to move this to a new computer is you would then take your catalog folder and your images folder, whatever you've called it, images and videos, and you would move it to the hard drive that you want it to be on. So I mean, let's say I wanna just pretend that I'm gonna put this in my pictures folder. And yep, let's move it over here. And I would copy it to my, uh, my new computer's picture folder on its fast SSD, SSD drive. Once it's been copied all over, then I would open up the catalog folder on that new computer and launch Lightroom Classic so it knows where the catalog is now. In other words, stop looking for it on the external, look for it now on its new computer's location. So that would be it. Now, again, you might have to relink everything because it doesn't know, like you're now taking it off the T9 and you moved it over to a computer, a, a hard disk called hard disk in my case. Uh, so if we go through that process, let's do this one last time. Let's launch the catalog. Now I fully expect for it not to know where the images are. Well, actually, I take that back because it's still gonna know that they're on the external. So let's eject that external. Uh, or did it? No, let's see. So it figured itself out, but if it didn't, you would just reconnect this folder to the, the folder location of where it is now. So here, if I show the parent folder here, let me see what that looks like. Uh, there we go, show parent folder. Yeah, it knows it's in the pictures folder. So yeah, it did the right thing, it did it correctly. But like I said, worst case scenario, moving it to the new computer, you might have to say, hey, let me uh, show you, update the folder location. Let me show you where this folder is now because maybe you didn't put it on the external or the same internal drive. Maybe you put it on an external drive. Wherever you put it, the only other step you may have to do with moving to a new computer is to update that folder location as to what drive you have now put that on if it's not on the external. Uh, so in this case, it all worked out for me, but I am then there's my edited photo and I'm now working off my internal drive and I should be able to now to go and eject the uh, T9. Let's see if it lets me do that. Yep, it did. And nothing broke. So if I look at the photos, yep, it says it's the original and the smart preview. So the original means it knows where the original photo is. And that means it knows that it's in the pictures folder now. So it could be that the catalog was in the same location, so therefore it just automatically updated. But if not, you can just, again, locate the folder as to where it is and tell it that, hey, it's now on this drive. Maybe you didn't move them to the same drive. So I hope that answers those questions of, 
Number one in the last video, how do I move my catalog to a different faster drive? And now in this video, not only how do I move it to an external drive, but how do I work on, work on a cross-platform, which we show Mac and Windows. And lastly, if you wanted to move it to a new computer, plug that drive into a new computer, copy it over to the location wherever you want it on that new computer, and then launch it from that location so that Lightroom now updates and says, oh, I know where it is now. And if you need to reconnect the photos and videos folder, you would do that. All right, hope that answers those questions. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.